welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for watching. Today's video is going to be a haul video of just the bits and bobs I've picked up that the past month, you know, the usual kind of stuff. And the other thing I quickly want to mention, because I have a feeling some of you may ask, is this lip colour, which is this one I have here in my hand. It's by Stila. It's one of their Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Rico. It is the most gorgeous formula. Like, this is so, so pigmented and it like it's dried really matte it does not budge at all like this morning i've already had a cup of tea with it on and stuff it doesn't budge one little bit so i definitely recommend this and i absolutely love this color so i thought i would just mention that oh, i really hope you can't, guys can't hear my tummy rumbling because it's just so rumbling first up is something i've been wanting for so long and it is a pair of the topshop girlfriend jeans i've seen these on so many people and they look absolutely bloody amazing on everybody and they look just as good in real life as they do on pictures. And um, I went and tried these on earlier in the week and just had to get them because they are the most perfect fitting jeans. They're sort of somewhere in between a really baggy boyfriend jean and a skinny jean. They're not tapered, they're straight legged. Just just perfect, like they're just the perfect fit jeans. They're really nice heavy denim, which you guys know I like. They've got button fastening, which is something I also like. And they're really good quality for the money as well, so I definitely recommend having a look at these if you are in the market for some jeans of like this kind of style, this kind of fit, or anything like that. On the topic of jeans, I have a pair here that are inside out. I'm just turning these the right way around. Okay, so this pair is from ASOS. This is the second style of ASOS jeans I've ever tried. I've only ever tried the Farley jeans, which again, I would very much recommend. These are, ooh, what are these? It's not written on. I think Lisbon. They'll be linked down below, but I'm from memory, I think they're the Lisbon jeans. And these are skinny jeans, and this particular style have a frayed hem, and they also have a step in the hem at the bottom of the jeans. So that's kind of what draw me to them. They do have these in loads of other styles and stuff, but none of them looked particularly remarkable, but these ones looked a little bit exciting. They fit gorgeously, these jeans, they really do. Um, they're much stretchier denim, but they still look like denim. They don't have that leggy look, which is just something that I always, always, always avoid. Um, so yeah, they, they, are not, they are a nice denim. They're heavy enough and um, a super skinny fitting, which is really good. Staying on the topic of ASOS, this is going to be a super quick mention because I did a whole video last week about it. But new in with me is also this gorgeous fur coat from ASOS. This is part of the petite range, but don't be put off by that. I am by no means petite, and it fits me perfectly fine. Um, I just wanted to mention it again because I've literally been wearing it nearly every single day this week. It's so warm. I just want to stroke it and snuggle it. It's just so good. I'm going to Amsterdam tomorrow, so that was kind of the main thing that I got it for, of like a nice, warm, but still stylish and a bit exciting um, coat to wear when I'm there because it's going to be super cold. So yeah, I'm just going to keep this mention short and sweet. There is a whole other video about this coat if you're interested, but I am absolutely, completely smitten with this coat. I also accidentally bought another coat. This one is from Mango. It's part of their premium range. And I do find Mango journals to be very hit and miss. Like sometimes they have so many nice things online and I want to order it all and I could go absolutely wild. But other times there's just nothing. And more often than not, when I go into the stores, it's more nothing either than loads. But recently online, they have some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous things. Um, I picked up this coat. As I said, it's part of their premium range. So I think it's about £140, I want to say. It doesn't have the price on it, but I think it was £139.99. Um, it is just a navy blue 100% wool coat. And it has this really, really nice shell button here, which is sort of what drew me to it the most. I like it a lot. It's super long, a really classic shape. Um, just really really like chic and simple to wear and looks really elegant so again this is what I got with Amsterdam in mind another like, stylish and easy coat to be able to throw on for every day next up is Kors oh, I feel like I need angels to sing whenever we mention Kors just the be all and end all of my shopping habits it's the best shop ever um, I popped in with Mum to the one in um, Manchester and Selfridges with the aim of not buying anything at all. And look what happens. I only got one thing, I haven't even taken it out yet. So I'm thinking of saving this for Fashion Week if I can um, resist until then. It is this absolutely amazing white tunic style top, well, kind of off white ivory coloured. It has a v neck, it has flared sleeves. It flares out at the bottom, it has split sides, it's got it all going on basically. And it is just like no other top that I've got. One of those ones that 
you could wear like on holiday. Actually, it's super heavy material, so you might not be able to wear it on holiday. But it has a summery vibe, so you can take it into spring. Would look great with jeans and just no jacket or anything. Would look great with a turtleneck underneath. Would look great with just anything ever because it's gorgeous. I love it so much. It also has like a vented back, which is really nice. And I wish that you guys could reach through and touch this material because it's like the heaviest most structured material ever and it just hangs beautifully because of it. Next up I have a couple of sale purchases that have already been on the blog, they've been in vlogs, so you've probably seen them already but you know my rule is always if I can talk about shoes I'm going to talk about shoes. First is from Jean Vito Rossi. Now these, let me tell you the story of these. So I was in Harvey Nichols in the sale which by the way some of the best shoe bargains I've ever, ever got have been in Harvey Nichols in the sale. Wait till the very end because I swear they bring out the best stuff at the end. Such as this particular pair. And they were in the sale down from 455 to 120. And I was like, mm, hello, that's pretty good. And then I had a £30 voucher, so I was like, £90. And then they had an extra 20%, no, 10% off. Um, for something or other. So I think in total, okay, let's do the maths. Okay, £78. Pounds. That's how much I paid for these. And let me show you them. So this is them. They are a pair of suede nude courts with a cut outside here. They are absolutely stunning. They are like such a gorgeous classic shoe. And um, I don't have any suede um, nudie pumps. And these just go with everything. They're actually really easy to walk in. They, I think they're about. 100 or 110 they're definitely not 120 heel high and they just look so so good like they're so sexy but in a really effortless way and I love wearing them with that baggy jeans and like really covered up outfit or quite a manly outfit and then having some heels like this this is just not my day if you can hear beeping it's the washing machine just be right back I'm going to sort that out oh right I'm back so as I was saying these are just stunning. I just love them so much. Like, they're just so simple and so classic and so gorgeous. My second amazing sale moment was, this one occurred in Selfridges in their shoe floor. I'd gone in to get a face wash, which I didn't even leave with. And I walked in thinking, don't go upstairs, don't go upstairs, don't go to the shoe section. And then, something really weird happened and I found myself in the shoe section and I was like, oh, what's happened? And then I saw these shoes and I was like, oh God. Now I have to get them, oh, not that. And I got them. But I have no regrets because I have been wanting these shoes for a really long time. I've been looking for a pair of these for ages on eBay because you just cannot justify the full price price tag, which is £530. I just cannot justify spending that much on this pair of shoes. And um, so I've been looking on eBay to see if I can find a pair for a bit cheaper. And they've been done in lots and lots of colours in the past. I'm not sure how many seasons ago they were introduced into the collection, but. They're available in lots and lots of different colours and fabrics and things. And I really wanted just black or white. Simple, simple. So, can you believe my excitement when I saw them in the sale, 50% off, the last pair available, in my size, in Selfridges. You can't mess with that kind of a thing happening. That is like the fates aligning and telling you to watch the till with the shoes. Especially when they are by Celine. Let me show you them. If you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, you'll absolutely 100% know which shoes these are already because I have worn them to death since I've got them already. They are these absolutely amazing Celine slip-on sneakers. Um, these are in the black with this kind of like a, um, like a really squishy fabric, which is a very technical term, I know. Um, but this is the best way I can describe it, squishy fabric. It has this high tab of the back, which is something that I really, really like. Little details like that make a big difference. Um, and it just says Celine on the back of the sole there. These are like wearing your slippers out and about. I've also been wearing them with socks quite a bit, which makes them even more comfortable. But they are like walk all day in these shoes and not have a single complaint. They are so comfortable. Again, these are going to come to Amsterdam with me because there's a lot of walking when you go somewhere like that. They're super warm too because they come so high up on your foot and because they're squishy fabric. It's like more insulation. So... They are just all around perfection and I am so, so, so chuffed with them and I've just worn them to death, well not to death, like, you know, you've worn them a lot is what I mean, already. 
Okay, so I have one more pair of shoes to talk about, which come in this blue box that you will all recognise. These are from Adidas, from, via Foot Locker, these ones are. Um, and I were, have worn my Stan Smiths just so, so much over the past. I've had them for over a year now, because I got them last Christmas. And I've worn them so much, and they're actually still in pretty good shape. They're just, this is a little bit too much information, but I'm going to tell you, they're just a little bit stinky. And it's because I wear them without socks all the time. So they do... They've got a bit of a ro an aroma about them now. So I thought, well, about time to kind of have a new pair of trainers in that style. I didn't want to go for the exact same thing again because my Stan Smiths are still completely wearable and they're not at the point where I need to repurchase those yet. But I will do when that time comes. So then I went for a pair of Superstars. This is the first pair of Superstars I've ever had. Um, again, I didn't want to go for white because I already had the white Stan Smiths and... Do I have any other white trainers? Oh yeah, I have a couple more pairs of white trainers too. So I definitely wanted an all over colour and something quite um, muted and understated. So I went with this grey pair and they kind of have, now I'm going to have to try to describe this fabric again. Again, it's like a squishy fabric. It's like, it's, they, these aren't leather, like the, the stripes are leather and the tab at the back's leather. But the body is another kind of squishy fabric which will have a name. Oh, maybe I could find the name. See, it just says textile upper. That's about as informative as saying squishy fabric, isn't it? So the final item I have to talk about today is this jumper from Gap, which I got via Zalando. I got three jumpers off from Gap, and it's the first knitwear I've ever had from Gap, and I do not know where I've been hiding, because these are some of the best jumpers I've ever, ever had, and they come in at such a good price point too. Um, this one is one of my faves, I like the fact that it's cream and they're grey and they're black, a little bit different and it looks really good just with like an all black outfit, you know when you just chuck on your dark skinnies, a black coat or whatever and then have this and like gives you a little bit of something exciting going on without any effort being involved which is kind of like my goal for dressing all the time, excitement with zero effort. Um, so yeah, this, I just love it so much, they're so soft, the quality of them is gorgeous, they are like the most snuggly jumpers. I've had all three of them sort of on rotation since I got them. Um, so I just wanted to mention them as a sort of general mention to definitely have a look at Gap for knitwear because we've still got a lot of winter left. It feels like winter is finally arriving in more of a cold and wintry way. It's sort of been holding off and tempting us with the super cold days. But right now I'm looking outside now and it is absolutely chucking it down. It is also super, super windy. So there is still time to justify buying some more knits this season and I definitely recommend Gap. So that is everything for me today. Let me know what your favourite bits down in the comments. My favourite things would probably have to be maybe the mango coat and the Celine shoes which also I definitely need to pair together because I think they'll look really good together. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching as always. Um, subscribe if you don't already, thumbs up if you like the video, gush all that usual kind of stuff and I will see you in my next video.